Assalamu alaikum. Hello my dear student of class 3. Welcome to all of you in our online classroom arranged by Samsul Okhani School and College English version. I am your science teacher Mahmoud Imtiyaj Ahmed. Well today in this science class I am going to talk about a new chapter and the chapter number is 10 and the name of this chapter is Introduction to Technology. I hope you all are ready very eagerly where you are waiting please open your textbook page number 63 and try to take another marker pen where we will show you some important lines with the red color mark and you need to underline in your textbook as well because as you know that we are going to provide you all the MCQ fill in the blanks and matching from here so this is very important for you to make those under uh, underline those important lines in your textbook so let's start with the page number 63 chapter 10 the name of this chapter is introduction to technology look at the picture below what are they doing what are they using well in the below picture you can see that one boy is try to write something in his copy and another girl is try to read a book and the middle picture you can see that someone is trying to cultivate the land with the help of some kind of machine and in the right part there is a picture of a girl who is trying to ride the bicycle well when we write we use a pen or a pencil when we plow a field we use tractor that means whenever we try to write in our copy normally we use the pen or pencil and whenever we try to cultivate our field we use the machine named tractor the tools in the pictures above are known as technology that means different kind of tools which is used for our betterment is known as the technology so technology can be a piece of equipment tool device machine or method here you can see the definition of technology in this line so when we will ask you what is technology you will write this sentence in the copy that the technology can be a piece of equipment it can be a tool it can be a device or machine or kind of methods well it makes our work easier better or quicker why we are using the technology because it makes our life easier better and quicker now technology in our life the question says how do we use technology here you can see an activity and the activity says use of technology in our life like you can see that there is a box where in the left part it says name of some kind of technology and how do we use this kind of technology and one example is given in the box is pen and what do you do with the pen normally we can write with it well in the left uh, right part in the picture you can see that a boy and the girls the kids are trying to write something in their copies with the help of pen so here is pen is a kind of technology and we are getting the benefit of this technology and we can write everything inside a copy and the next image you can see that one um, someone is trying to cultivate the land with the help of a big machine which is known as tractor why you are using this kind of device because it makes our life easier and better and also we can do the work very quicker that means within a very short time we can plow a big number of land with the help of this tractor and the next picture we can see that with the help of a bicycle the girl can move fast that means if you want to move from one place to another place we can use the bicycle like this girl so this kind of device actually helps us to make our life better easier and quicker let's go to page number 64 here the first para says 
We use various kinds of technologies for different purposes in our life. When studying, we use technologies such as pencils, textbook, or exercise books. Teachers use blackboards, chalk, and other instruments to teach. Well, as you know that nowadays we are fully depend on various kind of technologies because our life without technology we cannot imagine that. Suppose whenever we study, we use some sometimes pen or pencil, and also we use different kind of device like the calculator, textbook, exercise book. And that normally the teachers use the board, they use the marker pen and various kind of instrument to teach us with a better knowledge. So these all are the ingredients of study. Now when we travel or carry goods from place to place we use transport technologies such as bicycle, car, bus, ship or an airplane. Well in the picture you can see that all those uh, technologies are used in the transport sector like the bicycle as we have seen in the early page the girl is moving fast with the help of bicycle and also if you want to go faster we can use the car with the help of the bus we can go for a long route with the help of a ship we can go from one place to another place through the waterways and also we can use the airplane where we can go from one country to another country within a very short time and the next it says in agriculture we use various kinds of tools such as plow spade shikle and tractor for cultivation we also raise livestock or farm fish by using different technologies well we also use technology in agriculture sector. In the picture, you can see that there are variety of uh, tools is used in uh, agricultural sector. Someone is known as the plow, someone is known as the spade, someone is known as the shikle or tractor. They all are the tools for agricultural sector. And also we are applying a variety of technological benefits in our uh, livestock raising the livestock or increasing the farm fish farming we use variety of technologies and the last two lines says technology is tied closely to our life and technology makes our life more convenient and safe that means nowadays we cannot think about our life without the technology and it makes our life quite convenient and safe now let's go to the page number 65 the development of technology technology is always developing and improving improvement in technology make our life better and quicker that means here we have learned that technology is not in a static position it is improving day by day if you do this kind of activity like it is shown in this page we will be we will learn it better that how has the technology changed if you look into the activity it says that the change of transport technology and we will learn how on the uh, on the land it is changing and on the waterways it is changing and in the air also it is changing there are some pictures given in this activity first of all there is a helicopter then a sailboat space shuttle st uh, steam train bus aeroplane raft horse and ship that means different kind of transport technology is given here someone is used in the land someone is used in the waterways and someone is used in the air as well so we will find out which one is the older one and which one is the newer one on this three group first of all we will start with the land if you look into the picture you can see that in the land we use the horse cart we use the steam train we use the bus and according to the newest part and oh, sorry according to the oldest part we can say that in the old uh, the horse cart is used as the oldest technology for the transport on land then we have invented the steam train and with the help of this train our 
transport technology on land has improved then we have invented the bus the most uh, modern technology in the uh, transport technology in the land then we have seen three different kind of uh, technology like the raft the sailing boat or the ship all three items are used in the waterways at the very beginning that means in the ancient time the human being used the raft for their transportation into the waterways then they have invented the boat with the sail that means with the help of the wind a boat can move one place to another place very quickly that's why the boat is the upgraded version of the rat then we have invented the sheep with the help of the sheep we can uh, go from one country to another country in the waterways so the improvement here it comes from the raft to the sailboat then the sailboat to the sheep so this is the change of uh, waterways transport technology now we will see the change of transport technology in air you can see here there are three different devices one is known as the helicopter another is aeroplane and the final is space shuttle as you know that helicopter is the oldest device for the air that means with the help of this helicopter we can move from one place to another place very quickly but then after we have invented the aeroplane where we can travel from one country to another country within a very short time and after that the scientist has invented the most important and the most amazing part in the air tra uh, transport technology is the space shuttle with this kind of device we can go from one planet to another planet but nowadays we are not going to another planet we can go maximum into the moon and we have already reached the moon very safely and the scientists are trying to reach the mars and they're targeting the mars for their nest nest destination so these all are the changes of transport technology into the air that means we have learned that the day by day the technology is developing on the land on the water as well as in the air so that was all for today i hope you have understood what i am trying to discuss on this video if you don't understand try to read this uh, try to watch this video for several times and try to read your text again and again if you have any kind of problem regarding this lecture you are free to contact as below but that's all for today before that you i need to tell you one thing you have to stay at home and stay safe and try to do your homework thank you very much all the very best